What's up guys, um, we're back with another video and um, t today we're going to be talking about um, the different um, ways to make a crosshair for your game. Um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, open up Photoshop actually. Now if you don't have Photoshop, um, you can download uh, GIMP and I'll put it in the description. Um, and that's a free version uh, and you can... It works pr pretty much the same. We just need to be able to create a PNG, really. You could probably actually do it on, like, paint or something, but um, I, pr I, pr I prefer to use, like, Photoshop because it's something that I've got. Um, so when I'm in there, I'll just create a new uh, thing, and we'll, we'll make it um, just a square, so it doesn't matter what um, really what size because we scale it up, but we don't want it too small and we don't want it too big. If we have it too small, then it's going to be all blurry and whatever. Um, and we have, if we have it too big, then it's just going to take up too much room. We don't need it to take up that much room. So, um, yeah, so I'll just make it 500 by 500 there. Um, and I'll create a new layer um, down here. If you haven't used Photoshop, then I'll go through a little bit more uh, detail for you. Um, so, new layer by clicking on this button down here. Um, and then we'll delete this one by dragging it to the bin. Um, and that has our checkerboard, which basically means it's completely transparent. Now, I think... The crosshair we're going to make is going to be a really simple, um, a really simple one. So we'll just uh, select our, our our black color here, and we'll use our our paintbrush. And if we change here to uh, like fifty, um, and just make sure that our opacity is a hundred percent. And what we'll do is we'll hold shift. Um, We'll click and then hold shift, and then that will mean that we're drawing a straight line. And we'll literally just draw that line right the way down and try not to go over the edge. Um, I think I might have a little bit, but it shouldn't matter because we're not going to be. It's not going to be too big. Um, and then we want to get it somewhere near the middle. Um, you don't need to be precise, really. Um, if you're going to make a proper like game, then maybe you might want to. But just for testing purposes, we won't be too precise. Um, and then you need to click and then hold shift again. And then we'll go across. And I think we'll actually leave it as that, um, just for now. Just, we'll just have a cross for now. Um, so we've got that made, and then we need to save it somewhere useful. So I'll save mine. Um, we'll go save as, and we'll just put it in our document. Uh, uh, I'll put it inside um, a folder in here, and we'll call this one Photoshop. Oh, Photoshop. Um, and I'll just make sure it's a PNG that you're saving as, um, and we'll we'll just call that crosshair one for now, um, and we'll hit save, um, and we that that's fine as it is. So, and then if we open up Unity, um, we can import that asset. So we can either drag it in from the folder, or we can go assets, import new asset. And then we need to find our folder, um, and there, there's mine. So we'll open that one up. Right, with our crosshair brought in, um, you can see that it, it has a white white background there, but it will it does pick up transparency. But what we need to put um, to make that work is we need to create a new object. We need to create other, and we'll make a plane. And that plane um, will rotate. And it's huge at the moment, so let's scale that down something more practical and we'll put that find out whereabouts it is actually we need to rotate it again we need to put that like in front of our player doesn't doesn't need to be too precise for now because we need to move it around afterwards anyway um, and then we can drag our crosshair uh, that we imported our asset onto the plane now mine's just got a cross there um, for now and that's because we haven't put any transparency, uh, a shader on it that's transparent. So over, uh, if we click on our plane, we go over to our diffuse here, um, and we want to go transparent. And really, you can use pretty much any of these, but I'm going to go transparent diffuse, and that's going to get rid of everything and have it there. Now that's far too big, so let's scale that down, uh, just like that. And if we now Try and get that somewhere central. And then that looks about right. So if I have it like that, I want to attach it to my camera because it's good. we want it to move around with the camera. So 
if we drag that onto there, then that will be a child of the camera, just like the bullets born and the weapon. So if we hit play, that moves around, and that's exactly what we want it to do. So if we shoot, um, it will go towards the thing, but we haven't um, got it exactly right yet. So I'm going to actually change the direction that our bullet goes, because at the moment it goes very much across the body of our character. So if we change our bullet spawn, we want to rotate it a little bit. And really, like I said before, this is very much trial and error, and I think that that is actually pretty much how I want it. One problem is that if we spin too much, then it um, moves, but that's that's something that would happen in real life, and it's it's quite good that way. Um, I think we might actually make our... Let's rename this to Crosshair. I think I might make that a little bit smaller. Um, it's a little bit too big for, for my liking. I've got a little bit of lag there. Okay, so that's there, and now we're shooting pretty much at it. Um, I might actually bring our bullet spawn up. It's like I said before, it's a lot of trial and error, and um, so there isn't any like set way of doing things. So now we can target our wall, and we can shoot at it, and it'll, we can make it wobble. So that's all from this episode, guys. So thank you for watching and uh, stick around for some more tutorials.